Okay, so in my previous video, I talked about the things that Apple Vision Pro needs to improve their UX, UI, and overall the user experience for people. Now, I've watched tons of uh, reviews uh, about Apple Vision Pro uh, before I tried it myself and after I tried it myself. And there are some common things that people uh, who criticize uh, Apple Vision Pro talk about the things that they wished they had in the device. So in my previous video, I talked about different spaces to remember your window setups. For example, if I want to have YouTube uh, in my living room and I want to have in my room uh, some screens that are related to my work routine, I want to have this ability to save them. So even if I go and drive to a remote work uh, office, for example, I want my device to remember the Microsoft Office apps and stuff like this that uh, I've opened yesterday or, you know, uh, before the weekend uh, at my office. So this functionality right now is not it does not exist in the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, Meta just added this kind of functionality to their uh, V62 update of the software. But sadly, Meta won't allow, allow you to use more than three screens. So that's kind of... That's kind of the situation right now on my Meta Quest 3. I have this kind of uh, mini tablet interface on my Meta Quest 3. As you can see, hand, hand uh, tracking works just fine, so I can even stick it to the actual screen here. Let's see. So now I can actually scroll and I'm touching my physical screen. So that's kind of gives me the haptic feedback. Uh, so that's kind of turning my dumb display into touchscreen display so that's kind of uh, nice now people on the users of the apple vision pro also can take their screens and uh, stick it to the uh, uh, to the ceiling to the to the walls you don't even have to you know get near the screen you can do it much better on the apple vision pro you can you know control things without even being near them uh the way apple achieves this is uh kind of like meta is doing they've got this handle beneath the the, the windows each window as you can see the meta is doing a bit complex ux here so it's kind of they've got the handle for the dock which moves the entire thing you know the dock itself and the window or multiple windows that are open so you can see how it works apple managed to do it better because they only they don't have a dock, which is uh, amazing. Because uh, usually Apple use dock on Mac, on iOS, on iPad OS, but eventually the Apple Watch and Apple Vision Pro, it's wearable computing devices, uh, are using this honeycomb-like uh, user interface that you've seen in Apple Vision uh, Pro, so to speak, home screen. So basically, Apple allows you to do this kind of, uh, you know, window management and add things to your uh, walls. The device is constantly aware of the walls. Same things goes for the MetaQuest, but I mean, my device knows that there is a wall here. So if I go to the VR immersive mode and I get near the, the where, where is my actual wall, as you can see, I'm touching the wall. My device knows that there is a wall here. And even here so if I get close I'm you know it's it's a guardian system it's it's it protects me to not uh, collide with my, with my with my walls and you know hurt myself so that's kind of nice but Apple is using this data but from their lidar sensor in order to allow you to stick windows to the actual wall which is not uh, what's happening on meta and that and that's too bad so that's one thing that users are talking about uh, you know having multiple spaces and uh, whenever i stick the window i want it to remember it it's it doesn't matter if it's in my room work room uh, living room or even my uh, remote office another thing that people are also talking about is the ability to take their current application let's say i'm watching a youtube video so for example if i want to take this video with me both on the MetaQuest 3 and on the Apple Vision Pro, I have to grab the window and take it with me. 
all right so if i go if i want to go to the living room that's what i have to do now there is uh, an assumption in the ux ui um, designers world who are designing for xr and special computing there are some guidelines uh, that say that never use uh, never use head mounted head locked displays uh, let me go back to this uh, i don't want movement in my video so Headlock display basically is the ability to take this thing and headlock it to my view basically so it doesn't matter where I look I don't have to use my hand in order to look it to lock it on my view so it's basically some kind of HUD uh, heads up display okay but on AR it's kind of dangerous because if I headlock this window to my view it basically blocks my view so if i go outside and people you've seen people are even going down the street with the apple vision pro and doing some crazy stuff like driving and stuff like this which apple is uh, warning people to not to do but you know as we see as we say in the ux world you can user test your products countless times but eventually users will find other ways to use your product so that's kind of no-brainer so don't expect people to do what uh, your product uh, originally intended to do so I, I say that I argue that there must be some sort of uh, pinning uh, user interface to allow people to at least uh, headlock displays uh, but not the entire windows for example if I want to have on my peripheral vision some sort of a small youtube window so that's that's the thing and i want to see something like this for video players so so if i want to watch tv or something and put it uh, i know as a headlocked small window or maybe i'm doing a jogging and i want to uh, kind of watch tv or football game or something i should be able to do this and hopefully in the upcoming future of air glasses see-through air glasses not pass through air glasses with cameras and artificial intelligence that can scan your environment and uh, you know warn you from hazards you can see concepts I made years ago yeah four years ago yeah it makes sense so as you can see here I'm walking outside and you can see that I've used this heads up display for calories I've burned um, today yesterday and my goals for the future and this is something that i want to see so it doesn't affect my peripheral vision and the uh, and environment awareness and also there's the artificial intelligence um, remember I, I did this concept four years ago before chat gpt before uh, the advancement in the ai but eventually i've predicted that ai and machine vision will be able to actually uh, warn me from hazards in the way so even if I'm looking at this TED talk or football game the AI is constantly you know I've got the supervision by the AI with my AR glasses so that's some that's, that's the future I want to see hopefully with AR glasses because mixed reality glasses like this MetaQuest 3 and Apple Vision Pro I I would not recommend people to actually go outside and uh, you know walk down the street with these things and obviously don't drive with these glasses VR AR headsets because it's too dangerous so that's the second thing to find a, find a way or give people a way to minimize video players fitness applications and fitness data or maybe navigation data uh, for example Google Maps and have this as a hard display uh, in front of their eyes yeah i think that's that's all for today because i've got some more things like typing experiences but i will keep them for the for the upcoming video